Hi, Ahinstas. My name is Hini, and I am a spiritual astrologer. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video, if you take something away from it, and give the video a thumbs up as well if you are so inclined. So this continues my Ascendant Rising Sign series. This is going to be for Pisces Ascendant, Pisces Rising. They mean the same thing. If you don't know what your rising sign is, you can put a comment down below and I will help you find out your rising sign. But this is not for Pisces Sun, although there may be some overlap, some similarities for you. So Pisces Ascendant, Pisces Rising, you I'm calling the spiritual alchemist. So you are actually quite similar to Virgo Rising. You, though, are the world arising, the magician, the grandest chameleon, and the master of charms. You are lust and love intertwined. You are both a mystical mirror and a shapeshifter, so expertly and readily becoming enmeshed with whoever and whatever you come across. And there is often a high romance with you and an endless curiosity to your spirit and sometimes a fantastical, fanatical force can have you so spontaneously wanting to become this or that. So there is this way that you fall into people and fall into things with this fantasy-like mind and spirit. And you are experimental. You are filled with talents. You've got this very empathetic and relatable aura as well. You pull unbelievable things out of the air with minimal effort as well, or no effort at all, <laughs> who or what you want to become as well. Because of this um, sort of multitude of talents that you have is limitless. And there are always spells and ingredients, the alchemist here, ingredients at your fingertips to manifest whatever you so wish. And having Taurus in the third house for you provides you with such a simple, an original, very archaic almost way of relating to the world. And almost certainly people around you will find you nice and easygoing most of the time. But sometimes uh, where you are going is merely you running, escaping from something diving into any new person or thing that can act as a means to protect this strong need that you have for freedom and passion. And like Sagittarius rising, you also roam wild and free, although somewhat more surreptitiously, more internally, there's something a bit more abstract about the way that you roam usually compared to Sag rising. And with Aquarius in your 12th house, Pisces rising, you have to take care what uh, you experiment with and make sure that your experimentalism doesn't go too far and to respect other people's boundaries as well. This is a huge one. And also to ensure that you don't propel yourself too far beyond safety, beyond your spirit's bounds. And your element, Pisces Rising, is water, double-bodied water or mutable water, it's sometimes called. You may be most at home anywhere that your creativity and your imagination can be indulged in. And so, yes, there's lots of Jupiterian energy with you. Jupiter is, of course, your best friend and more than any other rising sign except uh, Sagittarius rising, you benefit from tracking Jupiter and understanding how it affects the rhythms of your spiritual experience. So pay attention to which sign Jupiter is in, uh, which sign it's transiting. Right now it's 29 degrees of Aquarius as I film this video and 
I think at the end of January, sorry, end of December even, <laughs> roughly, we're going to finally get Jupiter leaving the Saturnian signs and entering Pisces, which is your rising sign. So Jupiter is about to enter your, if you're watching this video right now, Jupiter is about in just a few days really to enter your first house. So you are going to get the blessings, the kiss, the big kiss of Jupiter, big time. But yes, uh, pay attention to which sign Jupiter is in general. In, in, in the future as well. And remember also that Jupiter represents things like propagation, laws, divine blessings, and opportunity. And Jupiter also deals with expansion and big lessons and authority. Now, although Pisces Rising, you are very much surrounded by luck and wonder and magic, try to keep tabs on the direction you're going and ensure there is also purpose to these movements so that you're not just a piece of flotsam carried by the river any which way, but that you're actually understanding why you're being carried by the river and also where the river is taking you and also how the river actually feels and, and all the rest of it <laughs> and what it's actually doing to you as well. Um, Pisces rising, you know, you can be excellent at helping others and healing others just like virgo rising but um you do have to watch out for sacrificing yourself to someone or to some cause way too much and to remember that you have your own dreams your own visions your own experiences not even these grand lofty things but you have your own energy reserves right you're not um infinite <laughs> and you can't constantly or forever give your energy to any one person or one thing or situation you do at some point have to do that recharge pisces and then and, and return to yourself as well but yes your ruling planet jupiter is actually exalted in the water sign of cancer and so you may well find yourself very much engaged in something to do with care in this life. Care can be construed in so many different ways. It could be a profession, an occupation, but it could just simply be that your personality or aura, your spirit would do best whenever you can care for something, care for yourself, care for others. However, Pisces rising is easily distracted and thrown off. So you will need probably to channel some of that opposite Virgo in energy to discern what is worth keeping and what is just a passing fancy. Now, as a Pisces rising, Pisces ascendant, yes, you have a Virgo descendant or your second rising sign is Virgo. Now, you may attract partners who are Virgoan somehow. It doesn't mean that they're Virgo suns or Virgo risings, even though they may well be. But yes, you attract Virgoan partners who are highly observational, who are good at organizing and accounting and, and doing that discernment. And they could be humble healers of some sort. As a Jupiter ruled sign, one thing that you Pisces rising may contend with is, and this is quite interesting, but an unhelpful sort of God complex. It can even lead into an arrogance that can uh, possess you sometimes Pisces rising and it, there can also be this toxic way in which the very magical Piscean energy that you possess is used to manipulate others or even to deceive or kid yourself <laughs> um, now people can actually find Pisces rising to be absent-minded however what I think it is is that they they just cannot see um, that you have a very different way of tuning into people and situations. You kind of have to tune out to tune in with you. Um, it's like when you have an equation you can't solve, you take a walk in the park instead of stressing over it at the desk. And that walk in the park, it does something different and inexplicable and you've solved the equation. That's very often how it goes for you in, in some sense. And also you are, often zipping off to other worlds, you know, and bringing back just the delightful treasure needed for the given task or the given situation. Finally then, Pisces rising, you, my love, are an incredibly attractive, 
and miraculous spirit and you're one who can be anything to anyone including to yourself and when you believe big jupiter word when you believe and when you are in pursuit of your right way the possibilities are endless and you really can make dreamy things come true and the world really can be your oyster and you really are this precious sort of pearl that everyone seeks to know and that everyone seeks to have in their lives in some way so that's your little bit pisces rising pisces ascendant do let me know in the comments if this is your rising or ascendant sign i'd love to talk about it i do reply to all my comments and again please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or took something from it all the best, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.